I did a video about x-rays a few weeks ago. I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail about how we look at the images and what we're looking for. When you come to see me for an opinion on your hips, I always want to see an up-to-date set of x-rays. These are often done on the day. You go to the radiology department, it takes about 15 minutes or so, very straightforward, and the machine creates an image of your pelvis and hips. X-rays show up differences in contrast between hard tissues like bone and soft tissues like cartilage and muscles. When I look at an X-ray, I first make sure that they are for the right patient, you, and the date that they were taken. This is crucial. In hip arthritis, the joint cartilage becomes dry and thin until eventually you have bone rubbing on bone. I look for things like cysts, spurs of bone, which are also features of arthritis and they're called osteophytes, the shape and the density of the bones helps me to plan the best operation for you. If you've had hip surgery and there's a problem with it, then x-rays help me to work out what might be the problem. This patient had a fall and broke her hip. She had a plate and screws inserted to fix the fracture, but the hip joint became arthritic, so we did a hip replacement. The x-rays show me which type of fixation was used so that I can order the right kit to remove it. That's really important. In this case, there's evidence of loosening of the stem of the hip replacement. Some of the bone has become very thin. This patient also had quite extensive back surgery, which might well be a cause of pain in the hip. It's really important to be methodical when looking at radiographs, so that you don't miss anything serious, like tumours. It's a bit like detective work sometimes. You have to pay close attention to detail and almost develop a sixth sense. What are you going to do now? I'm going down the pub. Every hip is different and as unique as your face. No two are the same, which is why I love being a hip surgeon. Thanks for watching.